Um, it is exactly 515 according to AT&T. Welcome to the Local Agency Formation Commission. Recording in progress. For Kern County. Um, this is uh, September the 20th and it is 515 p.m. Uh, prior to opening the meeting, I'm requesting the executive officer to provide instructions on in-person and video conference protocols. Executive Knox. and I didn't turn my microphone on, thank you. A couple of notes regarding how this meeting is held both in person and by video conference. For our guests who are in the room, if you are a representative from an agency or hear from the general public and wish to speak on an item before the commission, we ask that you use the microphone at the podium. Allow the chair to recognize you and provide your name and any affili affiliation and speak into the microphone. We are recording these proceedings and want to make sure you are heard both clearly in the room and online. For those attending by video conference, if you are from an agency or the public, your microphone is muted until the chair recognizes you and the host unmutes your microphone. There will be an opportunity to speak on specific items on the agenda. Please use the raise hand function on Zoom to be recognized. The raise hands function is in different places depending on your version and the device you are using to participate. Mr. Rice is the ho is host and is in charge of the Zoom portion of the meeting. If anyone gets disruptive, Mr. Rice has authority to remove that person from Zoom. Or if anyone needs to recuse themselves, Mr. Rice can place them in a waiting room and bring them back again out when the agenda item is complete. When a commissioner makes a motion, please state your name and your motion. The chair will repeat the person's name and the motion. All votes will be roll call votes. Thank you for everyone for working with us. And I, with that, I turn it back to the chair to start the meeting. Thank you so much. Ms. Patty, will you take roll? Commissioner Albright. Here. Commissioner Couch. Here. Commissioner Crump. Here. Commissioner Fowler. Here. Commissioner Gonzalez. Here. Commissioner McKibben. Here. Commissioner Sanders. Here. Commissioner Scrivener. Absent. Commissioner Saragoza. Here. Roll call complete. Thank you. Um, Ms. Patty, are there any commissioners attending by video conference? No. So it is my understanding um, that after we posted the agenda for today's meeting, we received a request for a continuance from the applicant for items 7C and 7D, the consideration of the Lost Hills CSD process. Based on the applicant's uh, request, I believe it is prudent co to continue these matters to provide staff, the public, and the applicant time to discuss the items related to the continuance. Uh, Mr. Knox, can you provide us with additional informa information? Yes, thank you. As you mentioned, LAFCO has received a request for, from the applicant to continue this item to the first meeting after the October meeting. The next meeting is scheduled for December 6th. If there are any changes to the proposed boundaries as, suge as suggested in the request, there will be several steps that, must, uh, that we must repeat, including map and legal, legal description sign off from the county surveyor, a new assessor's report, collections report, tax sharing agreement, and an MOU with the county. This will likely take us into next year before the proceeding will be ready to be brought back. With that, it's my recommendation uh, to continue this item 7C and 7D and bring both back at a date yet to be determined. Thank you, Mr. Knox. So based upon the applicant's request, I will call for a motion to continue the matters at a time and a date to be determined. Motion. And at, and at the time, mm -hmm. take public comment. Sorry, motion. Okay. Um, motion by uh, Mr. Crump. A second. Um, second. Second by Commissioner Couch. Any other discussion or questions from the commission? Yes, Ms. Uh, um, Bob, Madam Bob. Chair. Yes. Um, I believe we have people who wanted to speak to this issue. Is it inappropriate for them to speak to something that's being continued or may be continued if we so vote? I will turn to our attorney to answer that question. Uh, it would not be inappropriate. It would just be unproductive at this time because the program and the project will change possibly. And so we would like to have comment on the final product. So at this time, I would recommend not having public comment on a product which is likely to change. So at this time, I would avoid that. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so based on the attorney's recommendation, we will not have public comment on the matter for now. Um, so we had a motion by uh, Mr. Crump and a second by Mr. Um, Couch. Could we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Albright? Aye. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Crump? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez? Aye. Commissioner McKibben? Aye. Commissioner Sanders? Aye. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you. So um, on the next item for the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the August 16th, 2023. Is there any public comment on the, on the minutes from August, 20, uh, August 16th? Is there, any, is there any commission comment or questions? With a motion to approve by Commissioner Couch, I need a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Crump. Could we have a um, roll call vote, please? Commissioner Albright? Aye. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Crump? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez? Aye. Commissioner McKibben? Aye. Commissioner Sanders? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, thank you very much. And it has been called to my attention that we have not properly saluted the flag. So would Commissioner Albright please lead us in the pledge? Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and my apologies for that oversight. Moving on to uh, agenda item number five is for public comments. This portion of the meeting is reserved for per persons desiring to address the commission on any matter not yeah, on I this did. agenda and over which the commission has jurisdiction. Speakers are limited to two minutes. Please state your name and address for the record before making your presentation. Ms. Patty, is there anyone who wants to speak? Do you know of? No. There's no one for the public. Madam Chair, could I say if there's anyone here that really wants to speak, now that those items have been removed from the agenda, they could speak now about an item that's not on the agenda, which would be the item that was on the agenda. Is that right? <laughs> Is that clear? Deferring that clear. question. If they were really if they're here and they really got something on their chest that they want to say. Public statements would be the time. Supervisor for Couch, you can request that they can provide those. If I you just like. want to make that opportunity available to you if you want it. Now would be the time to do it. I concur with uh, Supervisor Couch. And I agree as well. Uh, is it on? Yes. Sharon Roden, Barrel Valley. Um, we're a group of landowners that were affected by the boundaries that were drawn. Uh, my question would be. Is this procedure basically started from scratch again? Will there be a new notice for um, that brings us back for a meeting here again, LAFCO? I can answer that. Our, our notices last for 70 days. Uh, so it would make, get us through the October meeting, but not into the December meeting. So we would have to re-notice everyone again. If the boundaries change, we will have to change if and land is added or subtracted those people would be added or, or subtracted from that that notice list before we send it back out but we can get on a list to be noticed regardless correct as as in regards to this project correct and you i think i you mentioned that there had to be surveys um did i misunderstand um when we have a map and legal description uh, that is signed off by the uh, county surveyor's office uh, that checks to make sure that the map and legal description are accurate and meet Board of Equalization requirements. Okay, and what other things needed to be accomplished as well? You named several different things. 
Yeah, the assessor's office um, uh, puts together a list of property owners within, property owners within 300 feet, um, agencies that are overlapping or adjacent, um, assess value of, of the, the entire area of what's being proposed, um, any in, indebtedness on th those properties is included. Well, it, yeah, secondly, there, once we get through assessor's office, it, it then goes to the election office, and the election office makes a determination of which uh, registered voters are within that area. So it, it all- Therein lies it, part of the issues that we raised. Um, so notice, it, notices go to both landowners and registered voters. Okay. Just a point, uh, Melissa was kind enough to let me know that that this was going to be continued. However, had we not had contact, there were other people that had planned to come that wouldn't have had notice that it was going to be continued. And most of us come from at least an hour to two hours away. I, un I understand that. The issue is... I'm glad, but I'm just saying. The, the issue is I'm not allowed by law to, to predetermine what the vote of my commission is. Right. So by telling you that this is going to be continued would be to presume what the commission is going to do. And that's why we're here. Right. Yeah. I understand. Thank you. Sharon Roden. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Roden. Any other public comment? Okay. If not, we're moving on to notice of public hearings. Um, A. Um, we're looking at 1814, the Kern Tulare Water District. Protest hearing results are detachment AF. Um, detached, detached parcels as shown on maps for the, from the Kern Tulare Water District. Five parcels located in nor northern Kern County and four parcels located in southern Tulare County were approved by the Kern LAFCO Commission at the August 16, 2023 meeting without 100% landowner consent. The protest hearing will be completed pursuant to Government Code Section 56375.3. The September 18, 2023, uh, a protest hunt hearing will be conducted after this agenda is released. Results will be announced at the meeting. Mr. Knox? Yes. On Monday, September 18th, a protest hearing was held for the approved attachments from Kern Tulare Water District at the LAFCO office. There were nine properties. We expected a small turnout. And we had a nice conversation with the district's engineer, who was the only person in, in attendance. Therefore, my recommendation accept the results of no protests uh, on the Kern Tulare Water District Detachment AF. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Motion to approve could I ask, protest hearing results. Could I ask for public comment first on this? There is none. Commissioners, do you have any comment or question on this particular? Item. I second. Okay, so we had a motion from Commissioner Fowler and a second by Commissioner Couch. There's someone with their hand So the name is uh, Amy Candia, and she's on Zoom. So okay. she has her hand raised for, and she had it raised for public comment. No problem. We can go ahead and have the uh, public comment from um, from her. Okay. Let, let's finish this vote first, and then come back to her. Well, I think it's on this. Okay. Um, I actually want to speak on that um, because I had no idea, and I'm one of the owners of. Uh, um, some of the land and I don't know if it's affecting me personally and this is the first time I hear about this stuff so can you guys reiterate or send uh, information to owners of land that are not able to be there presently and vote or be able to um, to advocate for ourselves Candida Candida was this on the Lost Hills matter or is this on the oh. current Tulare Water District matter the Lost Hills 
Okay, um, we're, we have actually moved on to the Kern Tulare Water District matter. Uh, the Lost Hills matter has been continued to a date to be determined. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I believe we had a call from, we had a motion by Commissioner Fowler and a second by Commissioner Couch on the Kern Tulare Water District item. Ms. Patty, would you please call roll for vote? Commissioner Albright? Aye. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Crump? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez? Aye. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Sanders? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you. Moving on to item B, 1819, sphere of influence, five-year questionnaire review. Affirmation determination pursuant to government code section 56425 on or before January 1st, 2008 and every five years thereafter, the commission shall as necessary review and update each sphere of influence. Mr. Knox, could we have your report? Yes, you might, might, might remember that we've had some trouble getting these sphere of influence questionnaires back. And thanks to the hard work of Rebecca Moore, who has personally guided many of these districts question by question, we bring you 25 year sphere of influence reviews. 18 are expected to have no sphere changes in the next five years. Two districts, Arbon Edison and Wheeler Ridge Maricopa, have an area that overlap between the two districts. By agreement, some of these properties are served by Arbon Edison and some by Wheeler Ridge Maricopa. Wheeler Ridge Maricopa is looking to ex exercise a new fee for Sigma mitigation which could mean a double assessment on some property owners. At last check, the districts were negotiating an agreement that would resolve the problem, but there is a possibility that some of the overlapping properties would be detached from one district or the other. An attachment would require a SPEAR amendment. Therefore, it's my recommendation to receive the SPEAR influence questionnaires and accept analysis by staff. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Is there any public comment on this particular matter? Any commissioner comment or questions? I move to approve. Commissioner Couch moved to approve. Second. I'll second that with a request that we be able to call Mrs. Moore the enforcer in the future. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> but if we call her the enforcer, will she still bring us candy at Christmas? I'll make sure she does. So I'm getting <laughs> a yes and a no from over there. I'm confused. No, she'll give it to me. She'll give it to you. Okay. Is this all part of the overlap? <laughs> this is part yes. of the overlap. Okay, so we had a motion by Commissioner Couch and a second by Barbara Fowler uh, with the caveat that we can call um, Rebecca the enforcer. Patty, will you please call roll? <laughs> Commissioner Albright? Aye. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Crump? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez? Aye. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Sanders? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Okay, moving on to item E. Um, a referral by Commissioner Zaragoza for information on legislation affecting water authorities. Uh, information on AB 399, Mr. Knox? Yeah, at the request of Commissioner Zaragoza, I have looked into the details of AB 399. In your packet is quite a bit of information on the bill. My recommendation is for LAFCO to take no action unless requested. A request is made by Kern County Water Agency or uh, Antelope Valley East Kern Water Agency uh, to join a coalition letter at some later date. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Uh, next is our general business item. We have an approval of the monthly expense list number 23-07. Any commission comment or questions? I move approval. Commissioner Couch moved approval. Second, McKibben. Commissioner McKibben seconded the motion. Could we have a vote, call, a roll call vote, please? Commissioner Albright? Aye. Commissioner Couch? Yes. Commissioner Crump? Yes. Commissioner Fowler? Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez? Aye. Commissioner McKibben? Yes. Commissioner Sanders? Yes. Commissioner Saragoza? Aye. All ayes, motion passed. Thank you, Patty. And then moving on to um, item B under general business, uh, executive officer miscellaneous items, Mr. Knox. Yes, thank you. 
The City of Bakersfield has requested proceeding 1815 South Rio Road number one to be withdrawn. As such, staff will not be moving forward with processing this application at this time. Because the withdrawal has occurred before a certificate of filing was, was submitted, is considered a withdrawal instead of a termination, which means the city can bring this back at any time. Secondly, um, I don't have any items. I, I know I won't have any items for October, so we can cancel the October meeting now, uh, which is good news for those who's going to the Calafco conference because we were overlapping that Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night with our commission meeting. So you're now free to go to the full Calafco conference. Uh, with that, our next meeting is December 6th. And that's the end of my report. Thank you, Mr. Knox. Any other commissioner comments? Seeing none, uh, if there's no further business to discuss, um, our next scheduled meeting will be in December. December 6th. December the 6th. So meeting is adjourned. Thank you.